My guess is Derwin. Derwin, why are you here? To prove to everybody in the police stations and all her girlfriends and her friends that I'm not a cheater, I'm not an abuser, and I do what? not abuse my kids. To prove, to say that again, who are you proving it to? My girlfriend. Your girlfriend. And the police and everybody that... Is, are the police locking you up? Every time she makes an accusation that I... Or she wants to control me. That's what it is. So your girlfriend's trying to control you? Yes. Why is she trying to control you? Because I work seven days a week, sometimes 10-hour days, sometimes for a whole month without a day off, just to provide for our kids and keep a roof over their head. The guys after work ask me if I want to go have a beer. Well, I can't, I'm 37 years old. I have to call, like she's my mom, to ask, may I go after work to have a beer? Well, I gotta do the same thing, so what's the matter? We're not married. Well, but you live together, right? Right, yes. Okay, yes. so you're living together, and you have children? Yes. How many children do you have? Three and one on the way. Three and one on the way? Yes. So this is a serious relationship. It's almost like a marriage, right? Yes. Okay, you're entitled to go have a beer with the guys if you're working seven days a week, 10 hours a day. Yeah, the average person would think that, but not her. She so has what to control. So what would it. happen if you do that? When I come home, I get locked in my own house. If I come home from work even a minute late, I'm screwing somebody. But you're really not. No. How do I have time? I work. You know, I come straight from work. I work. So you 20 love your girlfriend. From home. Yes. And you would never cheat on her. No. And you're good to her. Yes, I take care of all the bills, everything. Even you, when she locks me up, I still pay the bills while you. I'm in jail. <laughs> And she's, she's stabbed me in the groin. She stabbed me in the she stomach. She stabbed you in the groin. She stabbed me in the chest. Well, we have a four-year-old son. And one day, I was drinking everything at the house, and I was going to go down to the local bar. She tells me, no, I can't go to the bar. She yells to my four-year-old as she's blocking the door. She won't let me out. She yells to my four-year-old, get me a knife. <laughs> he goes and gets the knife, and he gives it to her. And she tells me, you ain't going nowhere. Before you go anywhere, I'm going to cut you up. OK, now, if you're stabbed in the stomach and the groin, how come you're not calling the police? Because we have kids together, and I know the ramifications. Yeah, but you got stabbed. And you know, I love her, you know. You love somebody that stabs you? Well, yeah. It doesn't sound like this woman loves you, and she believes you're cheating, right? Yes. And you're oh, wow. And what does she do to try to catch you? Oh, she tells me that I got to bring my check stubs home if I'm working overtime. Oh, I just got to see if you're working overtime or you're cheating on me. Has she ever cheated on you? Yes, she has. She's told me, yes, she has. She also has... Um, okay, she, she says to you, yeah, I cheated on you. Recently, she told me not to come home after work one day because I did go have a few beers with the guys. So she, she goes out to my brother's house and tells him to tell me not to come home. Later on, we're sitting there watching the game. He pulls out his phone and says, look at the text I just got. It's like, oh, yeah, well, he could sit there and sleep with your nasty, fat sister, blah, 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 blah. That's okay because I've been sleeping with my ex all along. She said this to you? She texted it to my brother's phone. Oh, okay. And he showed me it and everything. Now, you know, she, really she's told my off. producers that she says you abuse your kids. That's what she says. And you don't? No, the police, even that day that I had locked her up, I locked her up Christmas night, Steve. You, you've locked her I up, too? I finally had enough, yep. So yep. you're both just she locking down each other up? It, no. That well, was the only time, like one and only time, because she was sitting down at the bottom of the steps telling the police officer that those kids weren't mine. I had to go dig in my files to find out the birth certificates to show the police officers my name on each one of my kids' birth certificates. So I had to do that, and then she made the accusation that I abused the four-year-old. So he went down to the neighbor's house where she had just picked up the kids and said, I'll be back Monday to get my stuff. So he goes, she goes, he goes down there, asks my four-year-old, can you remove your shirt and your pants and stuff, and um, can I check you know, over, does daddy hit you? Did daddy hit you today? Did daddy ever hit you? No, or nothing. He said, no. They came back and said, you're under arrest for, once, for one, giving us false information. And for two, since he heard that up there now, now he wants to press charges on you. That's, she had, that day, she hit me with a coffee cup in my back and then pulled all my hair out and broke my glasses into like 50 billion pieces. <laughs> I can only take so much because I want everything to change. You know, I'd like to work out for the kids. And but, maybe a leopard could change But you want spots. everything to change. And how is that going to happen? She stops all this. Drama, psychotic. No, I know. If she stops, it's going to end. But what's going to make her stop? Hopefully these results. Let's bring out your girlfriend. Are you serious? I abuse you. Oh, you're yeah. always choking me. You went to jail I for never choking choked me. me. You, I choked I you. I had marks on my neck no, from you, you never choking had a mark. me. They don't even have pictures. That's why they 
they don't have no charges. pictures. They don't have That's no why pictures. They were, you don't get eight felony counts. I never counts got arrested. Of assault for, never for nothing. Oh, yeah, because you eight made it all counts. up. You made no, it all up. The neighbors called psychotic. the police on you. The neighbors called you're the police psychotic. on you. No, you called them. Because they saw. No. You're Trying to control no, me. You're a damn liar. Every time liar. I have a drink, Steve? that's all you do. So you're saying he's abusing your kids and no, abuses you? No, he hit my son once with the, the box. Kids. Okay, until t- we find I out never what's going on, hey, Derwin, until we find out what's going on, why don't you stand up? <laughs> now, you hear him saying this, right? You lock him in the house, you're stabbing him in the groin, the stomach, the chest. I have to threaten to jump out him. my window. Oh, you Ask, did stab yeah, him? Yeah, he was choking me. Did you choke her? No. Steve, he's had, in the past five months, since March, he's had eight felony domestic assault. All because abuses. of your lies. No. All you know why they wouldn't drop them, Steve? Because they have pictures boxer, of choke MMA marks. Fighter. Okay, if he's if I hit her or even neck. choked her, she would have so many. You're an MMA fighter? Yeah. They did have, she would have, so they did many have marks pictures. On her. That's why they didn't drop the Man. charges. Wait, 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 wait. See, I'm getting a little confused here. I'm getting a little confused. First, you said, like, you, you, you want to stay in this relationship. You're putting up with all this abuse because yeah. you love her. So yeah. that kind of confused me a little bit, and I don't know what's going on. If you want to leave, why are if you here? Hold on, why are you hold, on. hold on, hold on a second. Now, we're having a couple laughs here. But in all truthfulness, if he is abusing you, and you say eight felony assaults, domestic assaults. Eight felony charges in, okay. since March. Well, that's not a laughing matter. First I of know all, it's not. And first of all, if it's not true, you're wasting the police time. And if, it is, and if it's saying. true, then really, how come nobody has gotten you out of this situation? I love him. I do want to be with him. Now, you're not lying. No. You have no reason to lie. No. This guy's abusing She's lying, yes. just like she's lying about I abused my son. You need to get a life and quit okay. being insecure. Okay. Get a job. Get over it. When we I have kids. Work, when I did we work, have kids you accused me of sleeping with no, else. you never had yeah. a job since we've been. You're just drama. He said That's that, all you are is drama. Said, um, Sit here all day he on the internet. He asked me if he could My go. space. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody's business. Talking drama. He sat there watching and said talk that he shows. Me an ass. It's shut all up. building you up while I'm at work. I'm a grown you man. You don't tell me to shut up. You shut up. Aren't you watching my show? Yeah. yeah we do it every day when I come home from work. I mean, somebody obviously is lying up here. Mm-hmm. Either, or you might both be pe- telling the truth. You both might be crazy. I don't know. <laughs> um, but we're only going to hear one side because she wasn't able to take well, lie detector well, test. Well, we didn't give you lie detector test because you're pregnant. Yep. Um, but the thing is, if you are lying and you are accusing them, and I don't know if you are or not, but if you are accusing them falsely, then you could get in serious trouble and you could get your kids taken away. So I'm not say, worried about it because I know I'm not. Okay, so you're very confident. Yeah, that you're I know. What, I'm sober when he's drunk. Like it happens when he drinks. I'm sober. I'm pregnant. I don't drink anyways. Not pregnant. Not no so, more. So I haven't drank for years. Ever since I had our baby, I've drank one once more. since then. And you're I mean, 22. When exactly. Did you stop? I'm 22. <laughs> Why, when did I stop? I started drinking young, you know. But I'd rather take care of my kids. Okay, I'm very tired. Good. I'm, I'm a mom of three that. kids. <laughs> All right, but you took a lie detector test. Yes, I did. And you're saying, just to go on record here one final time, you don't abuse her, you nope. don't cheat on her, nope. you love her to death, yep. and, and I don't be. And my you're kids. not drinking excessively. Nope. And this should all make you happy. Well, the cheating part if he's not cheating you. What about the drinking and abuse? Well, I know he abused me. I'm sober when it happens. Okay, so you're really just wondering if he's cheating. <laughs> yeah. Or okay. He just, I don't know if, like, maybe he doesn't remember what he does when he drinks or if he, like, convinces himself. I, remember I don't know. everything. I mean, I, went I on, really don't know. When I was younger, I went on binge drinkers for, like, five days. I, was, I, I grew up on the it. reservation. He spent and I remember everything that night. happened for the days. All of our rent money in one night. For days. Did I you remember. spend all your rent money in one night? No. When we went to Aquarius? No. And when you were on parole? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. And just and you one fell final over question. And tried to put no. leaves on your face because you thought they were your glasses. Hey, you're making stuff up again. <laughs> okay. You're done. Okay. You're so done. Whatever. You're yeah. Let's just let let's them, bring up what happens to you when you get like drunk and you pass minutes. out. How about we bring that up? Thing. Steve, you wanna? Um... Oh, one final question before I get yeah, to the Yeah. Now results. you wanna? Oh. Okay. 
Don't, we don't want to bring that up, right? Okay, Steve, you want to know what happened? No, you don't even got yeah, to know Exactly, there. because you you're going to. I do. I do want to know. When I was 20, I got drunk as hell, passed out, and woke up to a molesting me. And he likes to throw it in his in my face when he got dr when he gets drunk. No, I don't. Every single time he throws it up in my face. No, I don't. Because I don't know how many times no, I've I sat and cried okay. because he's okay. brought that up. Okay, stop. You know, okay, you know, we, we've had some funny moments here, but this is like serious stuff now. In my opinion, if what you're saying is true, you're dating the worst guy in the world. in the world when he's sober he's not the worst guy in the world I don't know these results and I don't even know if it's gonna matter but honestly you both should consider separating you really should <laughs> all right there when you took a uh, lie detector test before the show and you were asked have you ever cheated on Jessica you answered no have you ever physically abused Jessica? You answered no. Have you ever physically abused your son? He answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. I'm a little bit stunned. My son choked a four-year-old little girl because he saw his dad do it to me. Now, he passed. I would love to have you back after you have your baby. Yeah, I, will t I want the, to take a test. I would love to give you a test. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> but my advice to you is whatever go was going on in that house, whether you're telling the truth or whether you're lying, I would just think that you're not truly happy. And listen, I'm not a doctor here, but I dealt with enough people where I know, where I can tell somebody has issues or a problem. And what I'm saying is, when I'm, I'm, I'm hearing two different things from you. You love them a lot. I do. But then I hear just incredible abuse, violence, and everything else that you're saying. Now, some of it I truly don't believe because I think if it really did happen, nobody in their right mind would stay in that situation if it really was happening. We're gonna do pick a door, but I'm gonna walk with you out the door. And when I walk you out, I'm gonna make sure you get the help that you need. I think you need help, and I wanna, I wanna give you help. So, but what I wanna do is, if you, and you decide whichever way you do, because I'm gonna help you either way. You can go out that door and we're gonna get you help and you can really get out of this bad relationship that you say, but the acts that you described that are so terrible, or if you really think you're gonna go back with him, then you should go out this door where he's at and I'll go with you, I'm gonna walk with you and we're gonna to try to get both of you. If you're gonna go back with him, then I gotta to try to get you both help. So the show is over, you close the show and decide which way you're going. Let's go. Why does it have to come through all this? Well, listen, listen. What I'm saying is, if you truly do love each other, why don't you start right now and just be civil to each other, okay? I can do that. Okay? Can you be civil? All right, let's go get some help. Come on. <laughs>